This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. You can use the same for loop to do multiple things. Yeah, definitely, and it's great. Um, this program creates two lists of 10 random coin flips. Run the program and read the code to understand it. Uh, ready? And so it's going fast. Is it going to print anything? You can see I counting. Oh, we got one list. Yep, two lists. All right, let's explain. So what's it doing here? And I can do it, print it, have it run through slower if you want. We have two empty, eh, it doesn't matter, I can tell you. We have two empty lists. Flips one, two, oh, we have three empty lists and three. So we then hit this line of code. For i, that's going to be our counter. i is set equal to zero. i must always be less than 10. i plus plus. So what this says is start at zero. Okay, we'll start at zero. Is zero less than 10? Yes, zero is less than 10. Zoop, we're going to run the code inside then. Okay, append to list one, flips one, this guy. A random number is zero or one. The computer spits back a random number. Okay, one, slap, and we push it into this list. So now flips one has a uh, one in it, right? Or a zero, whatever pops up. Next, boom, append to list two, list two. Okay, yes, a random number is zero or one. Okay, zero, it says, boom, we throw that in there. We at the bottom of this, we go back to the top. I was equal to zero when we started, so we now need to do I equals I plus one. So I plus plus. So now I was zero. It is now one. Is one less than 10? Yes. And we keep going then. We add another random number, push in another. Zoop, zoop. Uh, one plus plus. So one plus one is two. Is two less than 10? Keep going. Another, another. Zoop. Is three less until we, they have fully filled lists of 10. Boom. And then we print them out. All right. Update the program. Run the program, yep, update the program to fill the third list of coins. You don't need to add another for loop. All right, so we're going to do what they're doing here, and that is still inside of this loop. I'm going to go into variables. I'm looking for a append, which means to add to the end of a list or to the end of an array. And what do I want to append to? Flips three, I think. So flips three, and I'm going to use a random number, zero, one, to represent the coin flips just like they do. So random number, drop zero or one okay let me just clean this up so you can click see that i have just three things in here and it walks let's do a reset and a run so each time the i loops it's adding to all three lists whoops i messed something up oh i put a there we are three so we it has one loop right but each time it loops it's doing three different parts of the work and pushing three things into our list. Our lists are different too, because these are random numbers each time. So this time, this random number generated a one, this random number generated a zero, this one did a one, so on and uh, so forth. Pretty cool. Onward!